Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you guys a project I created for Gisela, who is, who is Lavish Laces here on YouTube. Um, this is um, just a gift that I want to give to her because she's such a sweet person. If you guys don't know her, I'll put her link in the description box. Um, just a sweet, she always leave awesome comments, as, as do a lot of you. Um, and when she sends things just randomly, um, she says, don't don't send anything back. I just want to do this. And, and her notes on her little cards just make me feel inspired and make me feel good and appreciate it. So thank you so much, Gisela. You definitely rock. So I wanted to send her back something. And I just didn't want to go buy something from, you know, Joanne's or Michael's or Archivers and just send it to her with a card. I wanted something that to me was heartfelt, um, something I handmade. Um, and you know, I am sending goodies as well, but I think that when somebody takes the time out, like she did with that gorgeous box that she sent, um, to make something for you and send it to you out of the goodness of their heart and just how much, how hard they worked on it. I think that should definitely be reciprocated. So, um, I want to share with you the paper collection that I use and it's the Prima Divine paper I use the A4 stack all of it's gone even this little circle down here I use <laughs> for something on the project so um, this is some gorgeous paper if you guys haven't seen it already um, but yeah this is the A4 I use two sheets for em from in bloom by my mind's eye but that's it most majority all of it came from here besides those two pieces of paper so the first thing that I made her was this gift box so 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 cute and like I was telling you I didn't I didn't want I really sit down sat down and thought about it I really did not want to just throw you know flowers which are nice flowers and stuff on there and just paint it and call it you know something that you can kind of do on autopilot <laughs> I wanted to sit and think and this is my result from sitting and thinking so this is the box this is a box I got from um, the hardware store and it was um, a stamping up tools box it had like a, a imprint foam of a hammer or something that was in there i don't know whatever tool that is but it was stained or or it had this sheer shine gloss to it like shiny hardwood floor and i tell you the thing was the devil to try to cover up so it looked three coats of gesso and then two coats of white paint but maybe i should have sandpapered it first but this is the result so 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 cute if you can look here, I have um, some flowers up here. This little banner I cut out, fussy cut from the paper collection. Some of them I have a canvas underneath and some pearls. I distressed everything with my paint and then my Tim Holtz distress tool. I have some trim under here under these um, ruler pieces that I cut out from the collection. There's some fussy cutting. I'll have some um, pictures at the end so you guys can see close up because I know my webcam isn't doing a great job. Um, so I, you know, like I said, there's a few layers that this uh, box has on top. Just show you what it looks like. And then on the sides are finished as well. I cut out, measured the paper, balled it up, whitewashed it, wiped that off, spritzed it, dried it, and then laid it down so it can have like that tattered the tattered look. So Gisela, when you get this, well, this video will be uploaded. She already would have had it. There'll be a string holding this together because it won't close with the stuff that I have on the inside of it. So um, this is what the box looks like. This is what it looks like on the inside. And this is, you know, some of her goodies. But the the top and bottom is covered with this pattern paper. And then if you, you can't see, well, here. It's some lace, and this is where I'll tuck in some of the other goodies, and I'll show you later what I'm putting in this box. So inside is painted as well. So that's her box. And um, I don't know why I feel like I'm so, so close. That's her box. I also made her a journal. Now everything is packaged because it is ready to go. And, I, and, and in the moment when you're doing it, I just got done with the project and packaged it up. So... I didn't think to stop and record it, but you could still see for the most part. This journal uh, is special because she can use this journal. You know, I know she says she takes a lot of notes in class. Um, she needs always needs something to write on and post the notes everywhere. So maybe she can use it for that. Maybe she can use it for her store items, you know, with lavish laces and keeping record of what she has and what she needs. And just a little jot down journal. 
And this is the same little girl that's on the front of this box. And I used my bind it all in two spots. I do have, a, um, it's tied with a bunch of lace in there. And then I do have a charm hanging from there and like three layers of lace and some flat back pearls. And on the inside are, if you guys can see there, is um, tea dyed paper. I tea dyed all the papers, cut them four by six, and then binded them in my bind it all. My daughter, Taylor, and I did this together. So I'll try to introduce her into scrapbooking. <laughs> so that's the back. This is the, what I was saying I use for the In Bloom paper stack. This paper is actually from In Bloom. So that's my little topper. I really like doing these little cute little things. It's tied with some lace and a little resin flower. So she'll have this cute little journal um, to go along, you know, um, handmade journal. And then I made, um, out of some of the laces that she sent me, I made her some coordinating lace flowers. And this is how they'll come. Got a little um, topper up here, a flower up here. And then um, you guys can see this flower. It's um, pink lace and this beautiful crochet lace I got from um, Michael's. And here's another double layer. This is one of her laces down there, as well as this one. Two layers, flatback pearls in the center. Some of these pearls were given to me by Danessa, who is D-Love 104. And then a couple from Cheryl, who is Jimzelle. Love, love, love. I have to invest in those. They're so pretty. So that's the flowers that I made. And I got my little stamp. I only did this on a couple because I, I got to packaging like I was in a swap. So I just put my stuff on the back. I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't need to do all this. So some of them do, some of them don't. But those are her handmade flowers. And, and then I made her some altered bottle caps. I love this packaging. It's so cute. All of these, um, two of her flat. Two of them aren't. Look at my little flower up here. It's so cute. And this is what I was saying I got from the cover. Because I didn't have any. It doesn't have any standout images that you can use. So I just used some of the images off the cover. It's a beautiful butterfly in there. Music notes. And I covered them all in glossy accents. And then I hang, I hang, um, I hung some art cake charms from those three. And this is just a simple charm. Or... Uh, from my stash so that's how those look and there's four of them in there so she'll get some bottle caps correlate with the collection she can make whatever she wants to make I also made her some um, I just love this I'm in love with packaging I think I'm in the wrong business but I made her some clever covered covered um, post pins in the same paper collection there's that butterfly again. I used all of the pastel colors, so it kind of can coordinate with any of the other pastel Prima lines. And then on the center one, I used an um, Articake um, charm for the center. It's hanging off that middle clothespin there. Wrapped it up in some lace, and I used the button for the centerpiece. Again, <laughs> my back. Love, 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 love this. Very cute. These are the thick, big clothes pants. So that goes. That's um the large bottle caps, and I also made her some of the medium ones. Not bottle caps. I meant clothes pants. Some of the medium clothes pants, and that's how they look. Covered in um these are covered in washi tape, but they coordinate with the paper very well. And then this last one here has a charm. Hanging from it. That's my little pearls. And then I use this piece from the Arty Cake hanging off of it. It'll look great on a project. Absolutely love it. And then again, some more lace with a button in the center. There we go. And I also have a little card. A little thank you card with the banners cut out. It's on this corrugated board. And I already signed it and filled out everything. So this is what I would show anyway. But I just have the banners here. Kind of like coordinate with the box. And then some pearls. And then a little flower cluster up there. And then over here I'm using uh, Melissa Francis Keyhole. 
And I used some of these letters that I got from Joann's. It's just spell out thanks. And some more of those ruler made into a banner. And then some more pearls down at the bottom. Well, that's that. And then I am sending her the rest of um, the, the paper. I cut up in six by six pieces. Big juicy pieces I took that was left. And sent her. And then the inside there are two of the corrugated um, boards they use for the card the cards so she can have uh, she can make some cards and use some of her embellishments maybe on the card but I sent the rest to her I also made um, this cute 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 um, little burlap bag uh, so it's I sold it you know have a burlap material did the stitching on it so they can like this and then I individually um, um, get these laces on here just like that I put two eyelets in there so we can close it have a closure piece so on the inside this opens like that on the inside she can reuse this burlap bag too I made her four um, coordinating stick pins two are bigger and then two are smaller in blue green pink and uh, lighter green or green and gold green and silver and then pink and then blue and white very pretty very very pretty I really like how that turned out very cute and I got this idea I saw this on nurse Tara this video she had done her stick pins and a swap that she had um, a while ago she had them um, on this Baroque die like this so all I did was stick some foam board in between so the stick pins can stay so that tucks back inside here just like that and then you can tie up and reuse this if she wants to or keep it on her shelf for display or what have you so those are all the things I made for Gisela and Gisela I hope that um, you enjoy your goodies and um, sorry for sending you something when you said not to but you know I just couldn't resist so thank you guys for watching please comment rate and subscribe I really enjoy your support and you're reading your comments so let me know what you think stay tuned for pictures Bye.